back with Tamara Tooney and our panel of relationship experts, Vicki Ziegler, Yamanika Saunders, and Devon Franklin. We're going to talk about marriage now, the, or lack thereof. The number of American adults who have never been married is at an historic high right now. Nearly 124 million Americans are not married. Now, that is a huge number. What does that say about the importance of marriage to society? I'm going to throw it out there. Yeah, I, I think it says that marriage is still important, and we all want love. But I think what happens is this idea of marriage comes into marriage. So instead of marrying a person, you marry an idea. So when marriage becomes a prison and it's not an environment for freedom, who wants to stay locked in a prison? So I think it's about redefining marriage so that How marriage... How would you redefine it? Because I think it's about, yes, there are roles of husband and wife, but ultimately, I need to get to you know you as a person in this new institution. And Yamanika, you are not rushing into this at no, all. No, I'm not rushing into marriage. I mean, they're married. God bless you. Um, <laughs> it's like I have so much freedom to do what I want to do. And honestly, I think about it like this: there's only so many milestones in your life. Mm -hmm. Like you graduate from college or high school, and then what? You get married and then you die. So I kind of want to hold on. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. All right. No. Hold on. I'm a divorce attorney, right? That's what I do by day, and I believe in marriage. I believe in love. I think it works. But I wrote a book called The Premarital Planner. Why? Because I see so many people going through divorce and ending, mm -hmm. not having those skills and tools, what Devon was talking about. So you need to build a marital foundation. You can't just focus on the wedding. You have to focus on your life together. And for me, just like a driver's license, you practice, you take your test. I think everybody gets a marriage license. They should get a test. Get some classes on how to be in a healthy relationship. What does it take? Yeah. Right? And then all of a sudden, at least you're going in with good intentions. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah and I just want to add, you know, as somebody now who's coming out of a right. marriage, you know, I believe in marriage, mm -hmm. you know, and... and would um, you marry again? Would I marry again? Time will tell. But what I do believe in is a partnership, and that's right. what I think marriage is. Absolutely. I think marriage is a partnership. Right. And most of my marriage, we were a great team, wow. you know, and I'm really wow. proud of that. Wow. And I still believe in the institution of marriage, I particularly do. with the children. I, I think it's there's something important. about that family core that yeah. it's being. But, but and I, I think, think people are stopping getting married because they're concerned about unemployment, cost of living. Mm -hmm. People, you know, it's expensive. One household becomes two, and people are afraid to get divorced because it is expensive. But I think you can't erode the concept no, no, of why. All the single but, people are worried about: Can I still climb a mountain? Can I jump out? You got to do so but, much when you have a partner. It's like but, I don't want to worry do it about it together. Them. But see, here's the thing. Okay. I, I agree with what you're saying, but I think what it is, though, is the issue here is freedom. And we have an idea that marriage takes away freedom, whereas marriage mm -hmm. should bring more freedom because you're with the partner yeah. that you can trust when and who can you love you and accept and you. And support you. Right. And support you. You want to be with your best you see that there is and something's wrong. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. But there's yeah. still someone that you... I, I think marriage is beautiful. Yeah. All my friends are married. I'm the only single one. They don't mm -hmm. even throw the bouquet anymore. They just hand it to me while I'm sitting down. <laughs> But it's still someone. I just want to take my time because I want to be at a point where I want to consider someone else's feelings. Yes. I'm a little selfish yes. right now. So you're now. not waiting for Mr. Wright. You're no. just, okay. No, not somebody, at all. That's important, though. I see someone when in there. Ready. I think I think that would Ooh. be good for you. <laughs> I, I'll let you know in a little while. Okay. I don't, but when I just, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just cannot, as human beings, yeah. we are all different creatures, mm -hmm. and yeah. we cannot force ourselves into one category. And marriage isn't for everybody. Yes, right. Exactly. Absolutely okay. not. It's a gift, and you have to be ready. All right, let's move on. Right. We've all heard of signing a prenup, but have you heard of social media prenups? <laughs> it's really a new trend where couples sign written documents that address what's acceptable to share online. It puts restrictions on posting compromising photos that might harm their spouse's reputation. Tamara, you are all for this. Well, as you know, I'm sitting, I'm like chomping at the bit. I'm chomping <laughs> at the bit. Yeah, I, I think absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, the social media, uh, you know, is something that right now seems to have no parameters mm -hmm. or legislation, mm -hmm. if you will, mm -hmm. and people are doing anything and everything. So yeah, I would definitely mm -hmm. want uh, some kind of agreement Protection. that says, oh, yeah. you know, that says, mm -hmm. you know, if, if I'm gonna take those sexy pictures, mm -hmm. that you can't put them on blast if we break up. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Wait, and when what? things are good, I don't know. well, all right, and let me tell you why it's important. The, it, oh, you know what? Let's hear why it's, you don't no, agree, because then I, I'm going to tell you listen. why we have to, have listen, to do this. I, I don't agree. I think that if you are involved with somebody mm -hmm. in a relationship mm -hmm. and you are worried about what they're posting, mm -hmm. that's a red flag. Stop right there, yeah, because but, there but, has to be a foundation Tamara, of trust. But Tamara is a great example of somebody who had a wonderful marriage for years, yes. totally believed in her husband. Now at the end, I'm not saying it's been... 
Love but, turns I'm to not hate. It did in your case. Things were great. I'm saying yeah. but not, yes. love turns to not right. so loving right. any yes. longer. And, and people when you're get angry, upset. People, people do get upset. Exactly. And they do things. So let's talk about what people don't understand about prenups. You do you draft them before you get married when everyone's in love. So you can kind of figure out, God forbid something goes wrong, you're at least resolving the issues and talking about the future. People always say, yes, of course they're unromantic, but they're necessary. Social media prenups, it's a paragraph that I put in every prenuptial agreement, even my own, that God forbid there's a digital imprint of a photo so of happens, a video. So what happens if your husband, if you two break up and he puts on, posts nude pictures oh, of you? Oh, there's financial remuneration. He's going to be paying yeah. for a long time. Really? Well, that, Absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 I'm going to And you know I love you, Vicky. You're so beautiful. But I would <laughs> I just, I couldn't do it because, number one, I, I'm a comedian. I'm going to, if you break up with me, I want to be able to put on Facebook that you have a small penis. <laughs> so, <laughs> If you want to protect yourself from being the victim of some craziness once you break up, make sure when you send him those cute pictures, you look sexy so you're not, you know, like, oh, embarrassed. You're like, yeah, I look good. Put them up. Right. Put them on iTunes, <laughs> iCloud, everything. All right. <laughs> on that note, we got to go, guys. When we come back, um, just the image. We're taking questions from our audience. Stay with us.